Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, original, one and only the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube imposters, commentators, trolls, copyright violators, or haters of Art Bell. Now, I got a comment a few minutes ago. It was a negative comment about my bank accounts. I don't allow negative comments on this channel. So you wouldn't leave negative comments, leave on somebody. I deleted it and blocked that person from ever leaving a comment again. Now, we have had banking problems over the years, both Kathy and I. Now, you get treated differently in a bank if you have thousands of dollars or even hundreds of dollars in the bank and you keep it in the bank. But with all the banking problems I've had and she's had, it's hard to keep it in the bank. And Kathy spends money in some ways worse than I do, although she's cut way down. I've had problems with I go and I go and buy stuff on eBay or Amazon in the morning with my checks deposited. I go to the ATM to get money out. You have had unusual activity on your account. Why? Because I bought four, five, six, seven items in eBay, two or three items on Amazon, and I got told by the manager of the branch today that the computer looks at it as single transactions, not you're buying them from all the same site, and it thinks that fraud is being committed, so it blocks your account and I have to go into bank and get unblocked. This is happening every month for four months. Fifth month, one of the bankers got it straightened out, got them to stop that. He said the way to do it is to raise your raise the limit on how much you can take out of the ATM, but I'm not taking out any money in the ATM when I'm buying stuff online. So it, it really drives me nuts. And I that well it's for your protection. Quit protecting. I'll protect myself. And then there's things like going to Walmart or Safeway. I don't have problems with any other merchant using my Capital One card, my Capital One ATM card, my Bank of America ATM card, my Wells Fargo ATM card. And since they put those stupid chips in, it's worse. But when I go to Safeway, it never reads my Bank of America card. It never reads the Wells Fargo when I had it. It doesn't want to read Capital One, be it the credit card or the ATM card. I have to put it in repeatedly. Then you put it in, it says swipe the card. Take the card out, swipe the card. You swipe the card, then it says insert it in the chip reader. I finally got to work today with one of those cards by, she said, shove it in real hard. And I felt like shoving it into somebody else or something else. And it wasn't her, it wasn't the, the customer service lady, but I wanted to shove it somewhere. And uh, so that's part of the problem. Now, as to Kathy's problem, we went in there to the bank. And Treasure was supposed to send Kathy a letter saying, we have taken money out of your bank account due to an overpayment when there was no overpayment. They never sent her a letter. So, in my bag here, give me a moment to find it. This is from my congressman, Mike Thompson. And that's the form I have to send them, or the form is in a separate envelope. It's in here. And with copies of the statements of Kathy and me and assigned to Signed thing, authorizing them and Kathleen to work on our account to try to get her money back. So the manager of the branch today said, you have to go and get Social Security to have Treasury send you a letter. We have removed the money from your account. Then you will get your normal check in October, but then you need to go to the bank immediately and withdraw all the money because Treasury will turn around and try to take out the remaining uh, $638. Even though there was no other payment, they think there was. And this is why Kathy's broke. This is why I gave her 40 bucks. And we had to get an emergency loan for Kathy. She should get a money to live on. And the evil ratty one wanted more than $20 for gas. After volunteering to pick us up, then she complained how she used up all her gas to do it. So that's what's going on with that account. But I've had 
you know, five months, and Wells Fargo used to block my account every month, every time I bought eBay or Amazon more than one item at a time. Or I would pay, play online games, and they would block me for pay, buying stuff on uh, Dominations or uh, Mobile Strike or one of the other games I play or um, Final Fantasy XV. I would make four purchases on those, and it would block me because it detected unusual activity. Yeah, I have money at the first of the month. That's the unusual activity. I have some money. <laughs> and so it's it's really dumb. It's done by a computer, and they don't... It takes an act of, act of Congress to get them to straighten out and get to work. Now, if I had thousands of dollars in the bank, it'd probably would be different. they treat me differently. they treat Kathy differently. But, you know, when you're low-end accounts, they don't care as much. But they don't, now, my, the branch manager at the, where, I, where we went today, he's been great. He's done everything he can for us and more, and he's been really good. And I tried to fly. Now, usually when you have a bank account, you can get a credit card. I tried to fly a Bank of America credit card. They turned me down. So he said, forget that. Come in here when you're ready and do it here. We'll get you a card. Oh, yeah, this is an envelope with a phone number from the evil Wells Fargo Bank that I have to call because there's, there's a class action suit that I'm involved in. And I sent off the information to the administrator. And they said, we don't recognize you as being a member of this class action suit. So I got to get Wells Fargo to call them and say, uh, I should get paid. So this is the kind of stuff that's going on. A lot of this is not me. A lot of this is computer problems or card reader problems or their software. That's why we have banking problems. Kathy has gone to the bank and find out her card doesn't work. Walks up to the teller, swipes the card, nothing. I've walked up to an ATM here in Martinez, put my card in, it kicks it out and says, machine not available, and you tell me how am I causing that. Then after five minutes or ten minutes, it's still not available, I walk away. There's only one ATM for Bank of America here in town, I can't get any money out of it. So that letter will be sent off to my congressman tonight. And then they can, since they are the funding apparatus for the Treasury Department, they can put pressure on the Treasury to return Kathy's money and stop any attempt to take an overpayment. Of course, this all started with my branch manager giving me Kathy's account number instead of mine. And I now have the number of, and the uh, email of her district manager, so I'm going to file a formal complaint because... Four months in a row, she could not get my uh, account unblocked when I would go in the morning to get cash out of the bank. I'd go all the way to Virginia Hills, get unblocked, still would unblock the next prom After promising me that it would be unblocked next month, there wouldn't be a problem the next month, it could start all over again. And then giving me the wrong account number. And this has caused problems for Kathy. I got my money, but... They're trying to take out $931 out of Kathy's account. They've already taken $352 out, and she's broke, and it's not right. And then the other problem, she didn't take that money out next month. Treasury will take all her money out, and she, if she has to take it all in cash, she can't make her automatic payment to PG, can't make her automatic payment to one credit card, she can't make her automatic payment to the rent. This is a major problem for her because she has to do it that way, and we'll have to notify all of them there's a banking issue, and this is temporary, but until it gets straightened out, I have to give you a money order or something, and her landlord will not take a check, which is bizarre. They only take money orders, and they they had automatic debits out of her account no longer do that either. So in, in a perfect world, <laughs> He would just go in like an old-style bank, can't put cash in, take cash out, and pay cash for everything, I guess. Oh, and he told me something else. See, there's another guy. All he does is pay cash or use his debit card, and he gets blocked every month. And the only way to get around it, he said, he got the guy finally, got his limit raised so high on what he could spend every day with the ATM card 
that he hasn't been in there now for four months, but he was getting blocked for years because they think it's fraud. You go out and buy 40 items in your debit card, you got four grand in the bank, they think you're doing something fraudulent. They don't realize that some people, you know, for whatever reason, they want to use the debit card or pay cash for everything. They don't want to have the, the maybe they don't want to be tracked with credit cards, or well, I guess you can get tracked with a debit card, but but uh, I never heard anybody who does nothing but cash in a transaction. Very few people walk around with a whole ton of the cash. Although I did see someone in Safeway. She sent off Western Union. I'd be afraid to run around that kind of money. And she sent off $1,000 to well, be a Western Union in South America somewhere. So $8 fee for that, by the way. So I did, watched her pull 10 $100 bills out of her pocket and hand it to the to the service clerk, so. All right. So that, we're still really nowhere until uh, he gets the um, letter from Social Security saying that Treasury took the money out, which they should have notified her. It's, it's, they're not following their procedures. They're supposed to notify your person, then take the money out. I take the money out, then tell you, take the money out. And, uh, but sending a letter off to Congressman today will, um, hopefully alleviate this problem or get it solved once for all, because they can, he, uh, the branch manager said they can talk, they've got numbers at Treasury, they can talk to someone in, in a second and get it, get it, uh, resolved, so I, I certainly hope so. I also did something else, um, the initial contact, I said, will you pass this along to the Congressman? You're only allowed to keep two grand in the bank, and you can't have a life insurance. You technically can't own land. You can only have a car worth forty-five hundred dollars, and uh, the, you know two grand could be eaten up in a car repair or a medical expense or an emergency, or you get a fire or an earthquake. You got to move into a new apartment, and uh, so I said that hasn't been raised since 1988. I think it's time to change that restriction. Now, if you've got a regular Social Security account, it's different. They don't care much money you've been paying. But if you're on supplemental security income, they, I don't know why, but, but two grand is nothing. I mean, the car repair we got is $740. If we had to buy new tires, that would be another two or $300. That'd be $1,000 right there. And, you know, we're not going to buy four new tires for free as we to sell it. But an emergency can... Eat it up. And by the way, I found something online, um, a foldable electric wheelchair. Let's see if I get the doctor to prescribe it for me. With the sinus problem I'm having, the sinus issues, the mobility issues, I want to get an well electric wheelchair. This one's only about $2,500. Let's we'll see if they'll do it. Uh, there's days I'm walking along, leaning on parking meters. Either my hip goes out, I injured my hip years ago, didn't do anything about it, or my knee goes out, or I can't breathe. And uh, Kathy saw me this morning and said, what's wrong with you? I said, well, damn science infection. I can't get rid of it until it's heat, though. All right, this is George Send, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great evening. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool, as the case may be. And uh, stay cool and stay safe. And I'll let you know more about the banking problems from hell that we're having with the U.S. Treasury. Bye-bye for now.